God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The very reason of Jesus Christ is that you cannot do anything to get to heaven. If you can get yourself to heaven, then Jesus Christ need not to be born. If there is a way that you can get to God, Jesus Christ would not have suffered. If you and your own merits can be saved, Jesus Christ did not need to die according to the Scripture. If you are so good in the eyes of God, Jesus Christ would never have been buried. And if all people are going to heaven, Jesus Christ would have never been resurrected from the grave. And if heaven is our everybody's eternal hope, Jesus Christ would not have risen to the right hand of the Father today. The very fact that we have the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ shows that you cannot get to heaven without the Son of God, who is God, the Lord Jesus Christ. Death is coming. And for that reason, the love of God is shed about through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Jesus Christ is the means and is the way and the truth and the life to heaven. God saw that His creation has fallen, has disobeyed the Word of God. And yet, God the Creator has given us a means to access Him through Jesus Christ our Lord. You ever wonder why there's a Bible? You ever wonder why there's a Jesus Christ? You ever wonder why that there's a celebration of Christmas and a celebration of Easter? It's because the wages of sin is death. But the gift of life is eternal. The gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God has told those that have believed on Jesus, go ye all the world and preach the gospel. And if everybody is going to heaven, there would be no means to have Jesus Christ. And yet the fact that we do have Jesus Christ does show us that we are sinners and possible to get to God by our merit. Jesus Christ outbeats religion. Jesus Christ, the righteous, outbeats you being good. Jesus Christ proves to the atheist that there is a God. Jesus Christ proves the love of God by suffering, by dying, by being buried, and being rose again that we may have eternal life. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. We stand here and preach Jesus Christ saves. Jesus Christ saves alone with nothing else. You are going to die. The wages of sin is death. Your death proves that you're a sinner. And when you die as a sinner, you die unclean before God. And the only way for you to be clean is by the shed blood of Jesus Christ. There is no other means to get to God. For the Bible says, through Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. There is no means to heaven. There is no way to God except by Jesus Christ. Whatever denomination you think you belong to is not the price that God will receive into heaven. Muhammad died and is buried and cannot do anything else for you. The popes have died and are buried 
and absolutely powerless for salvation. And yet Jesus Christ died according to the Scriptures. And He was buried. And He arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. And has power to wash you of your sins and have you to get access to God the Father through Jesus Christ our Lord. I'm not here to preach about Baptists. I'm not here to preach about money or doing anything but to put your faith and trust in the Word of God that Jesus saves. With the heart, man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Yeah, that's the devil's own. You realize you're trying to use what the devil has done to God from the beginning of time to worship of music. And music will fall. But the power of God will rise. The gospel will be spread out that Jesus saves. Jesus said, heaven and earth will pass away. But my word shall never pass away. God's word that I hold right here is eternal. The King James 1611. When you go to hell, you will suffer. When you go to heaven by Jesus Christ, you'll be forever with the Creator that loves you. The fact is that we have Jesus Christ. It is the fact is you cannot do anything to get to God. Jesus Christ erases your religion. Jesus Christ, the righteous, erases you thinking you're good. For the Bible says there is none good. No, not one. You're not good enough. You will never be good enough. God doesn't give salvation on the grading curve. He gives salvation by Jesus Christ. By the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That's the mean of salvation. And once you die, there's nothing you can do. When you die, you will realize that the preaching that you have heard right now is true and right. And when you reject the message that's before you today, this morning, God will reject you. John says, He that has the Son has everlasting life. But he that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. Many people do not want to hell, hear hell. But hell is the wrath of God upon you rejecting Jesus Christ as your Savior. You can reject, you can turn off your ears to Jesus Christ now. But when the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God, you cannot put Jesus Christ away then. The Bible says, every knee shall bow, every knee shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Let that confession be now from a sinner's lips a repenting today. Let that salvation be from your heart to believe on Jesus Christ that you may escape hell. That's why Jesus came. That's why we have Jesus. Because God saw His creation that fell cannot do anything. And God is not willing that any should perish. God does not want to send you to hell. He is giving you a free will. And when you die and go to hell, it is your fault, not God's. You see, Jesus Christ died that you may not go to hell. Jesus Christ died that you may put your faith and trust in His finished work, that you may get to heaven. But by looking at you, you are rejecting, you are not trusting, you rather have this shut up. And by that, God will shut you up in the gates of hell for all eternity. This is 
the greatest news. This is the greatest message that you can hold of all life that Jesus saves. And Jesus alone saves. When you die, you will face the judgment of God. Face it under the blood of the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world. Come to God through the finished work of Jesus Christ. Now you don't see my name. My name is not on the banner. It's not on the sign. It's not rolling across so you can call me. No, there is a name above all names. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. That name is Jesus Christ, and it's not a cuss word. It's the word, it's the name of God himself, his son, that suffered and died upon Calvary's cross that you may have eternal life. You can't turn to another man but Jesus Christ to be saved. You cannot come to God and expect to go to heaven with anything but Jesus Christ. There is no other means. Anything else but Jesus Christ is the wrath of God. Whosoever has the Son has eternal life. Anything else is the wrath of God, John 3.36. And yet God has given you a free will to choose. And yet God is long-suffering. He's not willing that any should perish. But He's given you the choice. He's given you the option. It's Jesus Christ or it's hell. That's it. You are for sure going to die. You don't have an option. But after your death, you have the option of going to heaven or going to hell. And that option must be chosen before you die. And that's why we preach here. We preach Jesus Christ, God, the Son of God, the resurrection, the water of life, the Word, saves. That's why we stand here trying week after week after week. There is no other way to get to heaven outside of Jesus Christ. Let me ask you a question. Let's think here outside the ball, outside the comfort. What if your church denomination, whatever you are, let's say tomorrow morning that church denomination is gone, it perished, it died. Let's say the name of the Baptist tomorrow is gone. Well, what are you going to do if you're a good Baptist and you want to get to heaven by being a Baptist and the Baptists are gone? You say, well, that never happened. Find me a Babylonian. They're gone. Find me a David Koreshian. They're gone. Find me a true German Nazi. They're gone. And your church denomination by the power of God can be gone tomorrow. America can be gone tomorrow as overnight Babylon was conquered. And if your denomination is gone, well so is your salvation. If your preacher dies tonight and is laid to rest, and doesn't come out of that grave, your salvation is gone. If Allah and Muhammad are found to be liars before Jehovah, your religion is wrong and you have believed in vain. If you think you are so good, and tomorrow you wake up wicked and vile, then your means of salvation is gone. Well, I just think, well, what if what you think is different from the person next to you thinking? What if that person you're walking and talking with does not believe what you believe in? What do you do for salvation? You can't even get two Christians to agree on certain doctrines.
pestilence and means. And yet, there is one thing that proves upon salvation. It is the very fact that Jesus Christ died according to the Scriptures, and was buried, and arose again the third day according to the Scriptures.
if you are relying on anything else today to get to heaven that's not Jesus Christ, you will go to hell. You will burn in hell in what you believe in. If it's not Jesus Christ, the Savior. If it's not the Jewish Jesus, born of a virgin, that is God, that is human, that suffered and died according to the Scripture, and was buried, and arose again the third day, if that's not your Jesus, you will suffer the wrath of God, which is hell. Because Paul tells us that there is another Jesus. There's a religion that says Jesus is not God. There's a religion that says Jesus is to be eaten and drinking. There's a Jesus, oh, he's a good teacher. But they are lacking the authority and the Godship that Jesus Christ is. Think about it. You are going to die. And God knows where man goes when he dies. The Bible says in Matthew that heaven is where God lives. This is God's abode. And hell was created for Satan and his angels. And yet we have disrespected, we have not listened to the word of God, and when we die without God's means of salvation, we will burn in hell. The salvation that I have today that I am not going to hell is by Jesus Christ the righteous. And he suffered and died and bled and arose out of that grave that I may have eternal life. And you may obtain that life today too. You are able today, right now, have your name ascribed to the Lamb's Book of Life and be saved and be washed of your sins through Jesus Christ. You are able today to sign, seal, and deliver your soul into heaven only by Jesus Christ. You can do that right now. But if anything else, if it's not prescribed by the Bible being, I'm sorry to report to you, but you will go to hell. And we sit here and we proclaim the gospel that you may not go to hell. God is not willing that any should perish, and he sent his word to you to know what you must do to be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Satan has deceived you to think it's okay, don't listen. I'm alright. There's nothing after death. Death may be years and years away. I don't need to worry. Yeah, but do you realize death could come this morning? 9.48 a.m. It's still early morning. And you may not live to see this afternoon. You may open your eyes to death and find yourself in eternal life. And once you find yourself in that eternal life that you have chosen, you cannot undo that choice once you die. You may say, I want to go to heaven. I want to be right by God. And the only way you can do that, the only way that God will prescribe is your faith and belief in Jesus Christ alone. It is nothing that you have done. The Holy Spirit draws you to Christ to be saved. You've got to come to God the sinner you are. 
And if you don't think you, you're sin, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. When you die, you prove you are a sinner. You know why Jesus Christ died as God? Because He took on our sins. Had Christ not taken our sins, He'd still be hanging in Jerusalem today. You didn't know. The fact is that Christ died is He took our sins because Christ is sinless. And we are going to die because we are sinners. But there's one thing you can do to eliminate that sinner status. It's to put your sins in the repentance to God the Father through the Son, Jesus Christ. By confessing your sins and being washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because that salvation may be needed today. Because death may come knocking on your door today. We don't know. And once that door is open, and you have gone through, there is no exit from the eternal life. Whether you go to heaven or whether you go to hell. You cannot come back and re undo or redo what you've done. You cannot fall off into the gates of hell and say, Oh, let me go back to the farmer's market in Daytona Beach and let me go listen to that preacher. You cannot. Once you die, you die. And the choices that you made in your life are now settled. And the choice that we bring to you today is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Acts 16.31 Satan has many of you deceived to think you're okay when you're not. And many of you will go the broad way which leads to destruction. You know, you are not even sure of taxes. But death is more sure. If you die today, you will not pay any more taxes. According to the Bible, you are born to die. According to the Bible, if you die without Jesus Christ, you will go into hell. If your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, you will burn in hell. You will suffer the wrath of God for not having the Son, Jesus Christ. The reason for Jesus Christ is that you may have eternal hope. Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. But not for many of you. And without that hope, you are hopeless. The reason of Jesus Christ is eternal life, eternal hope. By God. The reason of Jesus Christ is that you may escape hell. The reason of Jesus Christ is the gift of God that gives eternal life. God the Father, the Creator, looked upon mankind and said, You're hopeless. You're not good. 
You're not worthy. I, God, must do something for you. I will leave my heavenly abode. I will come down from a virgin and be born in Bethlehem in a stable. Supposedly what you celebrate for Christmas. And I will go from Bethlehem to Mount Calvary. And there I will suffer and I will die, Isaiah 53. That you, my creation, can have life. That the wrath of me will be placed upon me, God, for your eternal hope. God, Jesus Christ, will be spitted upon, rejected, a man of sorrow, beaten, whipped, his beard pulled, crowned a thorn, and nailed to the cross. Because you cannot save yourself. Your religion cannot save you. The one that suffered and died on that cross is able to save you. And that from that cross, when all the scriptures had been fulfilled, when everything has been fulfilled by the prophecy, he died. And when he died, he said, it is finished. That means you cannot add to it. If you try to add anything else to salvation, you are adding imitation, artificial preservative in the means of salvation through God. And then they took down the body of Jesus and they buried it. As you would do with any man. How you doing, sir? Hey, how you doing? And on the third day, the third night, Jesus Christ arose from that grave, victorious. Supposedly the Easter that you celebrate, minus the chocolate, minus the beans, the, the eggs, and all that. You go from the means of Christmas to Easter and don't even realize that the finished work of Jesus Christ is minus the tradition, but set off by God that you may be saved. From Bethlehem to Calvary to the empty tomb to the right hand of the Father, you can be saved today by believing on that very Jesus Christ. You can have your name sealed in the Lamb's Book of Life, that when you do die, by the finished work of Jesus Christ according to the Scriptures. When you die, the Bible says to be absent from the body and present with the Lord, not hell. What must I do not to go to hell? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Well, what must I do to go to hell? Anything but Jesus Christ. And there's no partying in hell. There's no alcohol in hell. There's this torment. Forever without time. Jesus said, the words of Jesus, not me, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Those are very strong words in, in John 14, 6. In John 14, 6, Jesus told you, 
your religion, your goodness, your thought cannot save you. You are not okay when you don't believe on Jesus. You are not safe when you reject Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ, the Bible says in John 3.36, It is the wrath of God. The wrath of God by rejecting Jesus Christ is hell, the lake of fire. There is no other means of God but by the one that said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, God, but by me, and that's Jesus. Your very life today is heading to a grave. In order to be saved from the wrath of God, you must believe on Jesus Christ before the grave. There is nothing after you die that can be done to get you to heaven. Nothing you can do, nothing anybody else can do after you die to be saved. Salvation must be wrought before you take your last breath, before your last heart beats. Because once that last breath, that last heart beats, there is nothing else for the eternal life that can be sealed for you. As that man's radio over here today, signed, sealed, and delivered. And without Jesus Christ, it's hell. With Jesus Christ, it's to be God, the glory in heaven. You need Jesus Christ to be saved. And yet God has given you the free will, the choice. God is not willing that any should perish. God does not want to put you into hell. But the choice is yours. As much as you want to choose Coke or Pepsi, God says you can choose heaven or hell. It's your choice. But to go to heaven, you need Jesus Christ as your Savior. You cannot come to God with anything but Jesus Christ to be saved. We preach Jesus Christ. We preach that you must be born again. You must be saved by the blood of Jesus Christ to go to God. You must. You must believe on Jesus Christ to be saved. And yet God has given you the ability to say, yea or nay. And it's sorry that many of you are going to wake up in hell thinking, Oh, I thought I was good enough. And the Bible says there's none good, no, not one. Many of you say, Oh, I'm okay. You're living a lie. You're not okay. If you don't have Jesus Christ, God does not love you. The love of God is based upon His Son. What you do with His Son, by receiving His Son, then the love of God. For God so loved His past tense. The love of God is when Christ died on that cross for your sins. And when you reject what Christ has done for you, you will suffer the wrath of God, John 3.36. That's the reason of Jesus Christ. That's why we have a Jesus Christ. That you might be saved, that you might go to heaven. Through the finished work of Jesus Christ. You are able to get to God only 
only by Jesus Christ. You are only safe after death by Jesus Christ. There is no other hope outside Jesus Christ. There is no other way outside of Jesus Christ. The only name that will get you into heaven is Jesus Christ. Notice how many times I say Jesus Christ. I have not mean the baptism of church membership, of money, of doing things for heaven, but Jesus Christ. You are living, you are breathing, and you have the need of Jesus Christ to save your soul. Once you stop living, once you stop breathing, then your eternity is sealed by what you've done while you were living and while you were breathing. Why Jesus Christ? Because you need to be saved. Why Jesus Christ? Because He's the only means of salvation brought by God. Why Jesus Christ? Because He's the one that only one that finished the work for salvation for man. Why Jesus Christ? Because Jesus Christ is God approved. Religion is man made. Don't go to hell, only Jesus saves. Don't save the whales, don't save the turtles, get your soul saved by Jesus Christ the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. Inside you, you've got an eternal soul that will live forever. And that eternal soul will go to heaven or it will go to hell by what you do with Jesus Christ, God manifested in the flesh. If you reject Jesus Christ, God will reject you. If you receive Christ Jesus, God will receive you. The problem with that song is the Bible says there is none good. No, not one. The problem with that song is the Bible says the wages of sin is death. Everybody's going to die because they're a sinner. And you die without Jesus Christ, you will die without hope. There's no hope outside of Jesus Christ. There's no other means of salvation except by Jesus Christ. There is no other greater name than the name of Jesus Christ. With your lips, you must profess Jesus Christ as your Savior. With your heart, you must believe on Jesus Christ, the finished work. Without Jesus Christ, your life will be hell. In hell. Burning in hell. Tormented in hell. Suffering in hell. Because you will not believe on Jesus Christ to be saved. And the gospel that we preach, that's the only light you're going to get right now. You'll get no other light until you receive Christ as your Savior. And it's by the grace and 
mercy and love and long suffering of God that you are yet in this life. God has sent us by His Word to go tell them about Jesus and the Gospel. It's life. And you will get no further understanding of God in the Bible until you do what God's first message to lost people are. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. That's it. There's nothing we preach that you can do except believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved first. It's not building houses. It's not saving turtles. It's not giving up money. It's believing on Jesus Christ to be saved. Once you believe on Jesus Christ to be saved, then we'll take you under our wings, and then we'll bring you up in the Lord. But right now, the first, the only thing you must do is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. There is nothing further. As long as God has given me opportunity and breath to be here at this farmer's market, the only thing I'm going to preach is the saving grace of Jesus Christ, the gospel. That's it. Because you can go no further with God if you continue to reject Jesus Christ. You cannot be right with God without Jesus Christ. You cannot say you're going to heaven without Jesus Christ. You cannot say you are good without Jesus Christ. You are hopeless without Jesus Christ. You are a fool, according to the Bible, without Jesus Christ. And you will suffer damnation and condemnation without Jesus Christ. You know, that radio over there has got to sing all different songs. It's got to get everybody for something. And yet we preach Jesus Christ every time, all the time. You don't need to change Jesus Christ. He works. You don't need to do something better with Jesus Christ because He's got to prove. It's always about one thing. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the Scripture. He was buried, and He arose again the third day according to the Scriptures. God has not changed the Gospel. God has not changed the means of salvation. God has set it in stone, by the stone, Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone, that you might attain eternal life through Jesus Christ, God in the flesh. You can pray, you can play 400 songs throughout a day, and we will just preach about one name. The name above all names. The name that's all above all names. The means of heaven by God is wrought to Jesus Christ. There's nothing sweeter than the name of Jesus Christ. There's nothing righteouser than Jesus Christ. There is nothing that can save your soul but Jesus Christ. There is nothing in heaven that is worshipped more than Jesus Christ and God the Father. There's nothing more approved by God than Jesus Christ. That's why there's a Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came that you may have eternal life. 
Jesus Christ is the means that God said you can get eternal life. Jesus Christ is the offer of eternal life. Jesus Christ is eternal life. Do you realize I can sit here right now and go all day about Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ with adverbs. Jesus Christ with verbs. Jesus Christ with adjectives. Jesus Christ with nouns. And it'll be all about one thing. Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it saved my soul. I am not ashamed of Jesus Christ. He saved my wife. Jesus Christ saved my daughter. And we stand here about Jesus Christ. You can rock without the rock. Jesus Christ. And you've got to ask yourself, if you're going to heaven, is it God approved? Is it signed, sealed, and delivered in the Bible? Or is it something that you or man made up? Man-made ways do not get you to heaven. I've got to ask you, in 2017, is your Jesus that you are believing, is it the Bible Jesus? Because the Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthians and said, there's another Jesus. There's another Gospel. There's another Spirit. And I've got to ask you, to assure your soul, Are you trusting the right Jesus? Have you been saved by the Word of God? Is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life or is it name written in the Book of the Church? What you are believing, if you're believing in anything, is it approved by God? Has it been put in, in the scriptures of the Holy Bible, the King James Bible, what you must do to be saved? Go over the bridge. Hey, what? Is the water bridge right now? Yeah, it's on the other side of all the hotels. Okay. I got some bad news for you, for some of you. After you die, you're going to be quite shocked. You're going to realize what we preach to you is the truth. You're going to realize your religion was not right. You're going to know that you were not good enough. You're going to come to realize that there is a God. You're going to be shocked to realize that there was a Creator, not evolution. And then you're going to be terrified when you're swimming in the lake of fire that burns forever and not able to come out. And it'd be more foolish because you have heard the gospel. You have heard the means to get out of hell. And you won't come forward. You will not get right with God. You will not believe on the Son, Jesus Christ. You will not believe on the Savior, Jesus Christ. You will not come to the Gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm doing it again. 
I'm giving you Jesus Christ. When God says to you, do you got Jesus Christ? No. Go to hell. When Jesus Christ will tell you, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. But Lord, then I go to church, but Lord, then I make money, Lord, then I do this. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Some of you think you're serving Jesus, but you're serving the wrong Jesus. Some of you have been fooled to think you're doing right and you're doing wrong. You've got to have the Jesus that is God and God that is Jesus. You've got to have the Jesus that is approved by God that is God. You've got to have the Jesus that suffered and died according to the Scriptures. You've got to have the Jesus that was buried. And you've got to have the Jesus that arose from the grave the third day and the third night. You've got to have the Jesus that is seated at the right hand of the Father. If you've got a Jesus that is nailed to a cross right now, you have got the wrong Jesus. If you've got a Jesus that you can be a cannibal, it's the wrong Jesus. If you've got a Jesus that is not God, you've got the wrong Jesus. You got the, my homeboy Jesus? That's the wrong Jesus. You got a Jesus that says love, and he's tenderized, and he's fairy tailish, and he's fruity tooty, and loves them homosexuals? You got the wrong Jesus. Jesus loves the Jesus hates the sin, but loves the sinner. That's the wrong Jesus. Thank God I have Jesus Christ to save my soul. This guy, this music is giving me new things to say. Thank you, Lord. I thank God that I'm saved. I thank God for Jesus Christ. I thank God for the biblical Jesus. The Jesus that I received on April 21st, 1987. The Jesus that is able to save. Tell me if you love Jesus. Thank God my name is written down the land's book of life by the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. How about you? Where is your name? Is it amongst the gates of heaven by the land's book of life, or is it in the water of fire that burneth forever? Jesus. That is the reason for Jesus, to save your soul. God approves to worship and glorify Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. nothing righteouser than Jesus Christ. There is nothing that can save your soul but Jesus Christ. There is nothing in heaven that is worshipped more than Jesus Christ and God the Father.
There's nothing more approved by God than Jesus Christ. That's why there's a Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came that you may have eternal life. Jesus Christ is the means that God says you can get eternal life. Jesus Christ is the offer of eternal life. Jesus Christ is eternal life. Do you realize I can sit here right now and go all day about Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ with adverbs, Jesus Christ with verbs, Jesus Christ with adjectives, Jesus Christ with nouns, and it'll be all about one thing, Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it saved my soul. I am not ashamed of Jesus Christ, He saved my wife. Jesus Christ saved my daughter. And we stand here about Jesus Christ. You can rock without the rock. Jesus Christ. And you've got to ask yourself, if you're going to heaven, is it God approved? Is it signed, sealed, and delivered in the Bible? Or is it something that you or man made up? Man-made ways do not get you to heaven. I've got to ask you in 2017, is your Jesus that you are believing, is it the Bible Jesus? Because the Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthians and said, there's another Jesus. There's another Gospel. There's another Spirit. And I've got to ask you, to assure your soul, are you trusting the right Jesus? Have you been saved by the Word of God? Is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life, or is it name written in a book in the church? What you are believing, if you're believing in anything, is it approved by God? Has it been put in, in the scriptures of the Holy Bible, the King James Bible, what you must do to be saved? The baby is going to go over the bridge. Yeah, it's on the other side of all the hotels. Okay. I got some bad news for you, for some of you. After you die, you're going to be quite shocked. You're going to realize what we preach to you is the truth. You're going to realize your religion was not right. You're going to know that you were not good enough. You're going to come to realize that there is a God. You're going to be shocked to realize that there was a Creator, not evolution. And then you're going to be terrified when you're swimming in the lake of fire that burns forever and not able to come out. And it'd be more foolish because you have heard the gospel. You have heard the means to get out of hell. And you won't come forward. You 
you will not get right with God. You will not believe on the Son, Jesus Christ. You will not believe on the Savior, Jesus Christ. You will not come to the Gospel, Jesus Christ. I'm doing it again. I'm giving you Jesus Christ. When God says to you, do you got Jesus Christ? No. Go to hell. When Jesus Christ will tell you, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. But Lord, then I go to church, but Lord, then I make money, Lord, then I do this. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Some of you think you're serving Jesus, but you're serving the wrong Jesus. Some of you have been fooled to think you're doing right and you're doing wrong. You've got to have the Jesus that is God and God that is Jesus. You've got to have the Jesus that is approved by God that is God. You've got to have the Jesus that suffered and died according to the Scriptures. You've got to have the Jesus that was buried. And you've got to have the Jesus that arose from the grave the third day and the third night. You've got to have the Jesus that is seated at the right hand of the Father. If you've got a Jesus that is nailed to a cross right now, you have got the wrong Jesus. If you've got a Jesus that you can be a cannibal, it's the wrong Jesus. If you've got a Jesus that is not God, you've got the wrong Jesus. You got the, my homeboy Jesus? That's the wrong Jesus. You got a Jesus that just loves, and he's tenderized, and he's fairy taleish, and he's fruity tooty, and loves them homosexuals? You got the wrong Jesus. Jesus loves the Jesus hates the sin, but loves the sinner. That's the wrong Jesus. Thank God I have Jesus Christ to save my soul. This guy, this music is giving me new things to say. Thank you, Lord. I thank God that I'm saved. I thank God for Jesus Christ. I thank God for the biblical Jesus. The Jesus that I received on April 21st, 1987. The Jesus that is able to save. Tell me if you love Jesus. Thank God my name is written down the Lamb's Book of Life by the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. How about you? Where is your name? Is it amongst the gates of heaven by the Lamb's Book of Life, or is it in the water of fire that burneth forever? Jesus. That is the reason for Jesus, to save your soul. God approves to worship and glorify Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved.